on this little video we're going to do a flash test of um, like I said, the samples we've been receiving late um, kerosene and your standard four quart road diesel and as you can see they've both got the same colour but the characteristics and properties of the fuels are completely different as of our red diesel so we've got the seat flash tester here um, one of the seat of uh, series 3's uh, auto flash tester um, and I already preset the temperature uh, to 50 degrees um, because obviously I've, I've just uh, been playing around with it so I don't uh, spend too long on the video to um, bore you to death so uh, I know the temperatures of what things are going to be going at um, I'll just uh, basically pause this light it and then uh, we'll do a flash test so that's telling us that it's ready I've set the temperature at 50 degrees um, we have the 2 mil syringe that we actually inject into the flash tester and once we've injected that uh, we have to light the pilot light so obviously you can't light it until you put your fuel in um, and we have a timer here which gives us 60 seconds um, to actually prep um, and get the, the pilot light lit and then it'll um, do an audible alarm and then we can test for flash so I'll press that. So we've got 60 seconds. So I'll just pause this uh, until near the time. So we've got about 9 seconds left. Uh, the little flame's lit. We'll get an audible warning and then we can see if it flashes at that temperature. So there we have it. We've had that. That is its base value, its base temperature of that flash point of that kerosene. Um, and the reason for this is I'm going to do a, obviously a comparable against uh, the diesel, standard four quart diesel, because if for some reason you took a delivery of kerosene and you're unaware of it, the flash points itself, because you're on a compression ignition engine, it's going to ignite at the wrong timing stroke um, of compression and have a huge impact on the engine's performance and the damage incurred. So this is why it's critical to ensure when you're taking a fuel delivery, you always take a sample and just double check. Um, I know the colours are the same, but they smell completely different. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. So I'll just clean out um, our little unit here where it's got the residue of fuel. Um, I'll just turn the gas off. So uh, for safety obviously. And then I'll just clean it out. All it is is a little holding unit there. Um, it can test um, A1 uh, fuel, have gas, various other forms of um, fuels. So I'll pause this now, get it cleaned out, and get the next sample ready. So that's been cleaned out, and I've set this to its temperature, which is now climbing up to. Um, I've set it to 65. So that's 15 degrees different. Um, compared to the kerosene so um, I'll just wait till that reaches its temperature and it'll tell me and then um, we can inject our, our diesel uh, and get ready for it so we're at 65 now so that's correct so from this let's lock that down and we can inject our um, 2 mil fuel set the timer and that gives me 60 seconds to then obviously light the, the pilot here uh, and just prepare for it to, um, to do the flash test. So I'll just pause it at that for now so I can get that lit. Uh, see the second. So we've got three seconds to go and then we can test for flash. So the, the pilot is lit, as you can see then, and it's indicated a flash. So like I said, if you get a delivery of kerosene compared to diesel, although they look the same, they are completely different in smell and performance. One will do excessive damage to your engine and the other one is designed for your engine. So just be aware uh, when you're taking your fuel deliveries, because uh, we keep getting these kerosene samples at the moment from people who are having deliveries of what they thought was fuel, um, but it's actually not, it's kerosene. Right, thanks for watching the video. 
Catch you on the next one.